I'm going to be doing a series of videos on different features about the BlackBerry Playbook. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is a walkthrough of the different gestures available on the Playbook. I found some hidden ones that weren't very apparent or maybe I just didn't read the manual, but I found some additional gestures. So, when you have applications open on the Playbook, I think the number one gesture that everybody's using and I caught myself using on my iPhone is the uh, swipe up gesture which allows you to uh, then uh, launch applications and then be able to switch between applications uh, so we can go to media and we can go to pictures uh, and once you have your uh, application running, you can also then swipe up to switch in between applications and then switch applications that you want to run and then move that application to the center and click and go forward. The other way that you can switch between applications is to actually swipe from left to right. So I can then switch in between applications there. Uh, this is the camera. I think I'm using the Wait, switch back to camera and then change to the uh, so that's the camera and then I can uh, switch back and forth between applications by going uh, from the bezel to the left okay I guess I let's see from this application and then go this way and then go this way okay so that's uh, that's two gestures Another gesture is when you are in an application, say you're in the videos application. Uh, it's like your context-sensitive BlackBerry menu button. So you can be in a video, uh, and you can swipe from the top down, and you're presented a list of uh, application options, okay? Or so an example is I could also be in the pictures application. I could be looking at a picture and then if I swipe down from the top you can see that I can switch between other photos in the album I can switch to the camera or I can uh, delete individual pictures and then I just swipe back up and that context sensitive menu goes away okay uh, that's another gesture another gesture that I found as well is the gesture if you put your finger over the right hand corner and you swipe down at the right hand corner uh, the menu bar comes up that shows you the time, your battery strength, the settings indicator, and your notifications and you can swipe back up. That also works on the left hand side as well but realize that if I do it in the middle it doesn't work there. That brings up the contact sensitive menu so you have to do it over the right hand side. Okay. Um, another one that I've had a real problem with is, uh, let's see here, let's go to all applications scroll up, let's go into the word to go application. A problem that I've had is I do use a Bluetooth keyboard and uh, I'm going to type a new document and when my do Bluetooth keyboard is here it's not going to pop up the keyboard because it's going to assume that I am going to uh, use my external keyboard because the Bluetooth keyboard is close by. But this, I could be in the other room and I want to use my uh, playbook. So if I want to uh, manually bring up the keyboard I do similar to the other gesture. I go to the left hand corner and I swipe up and that brings up the keyboard and then you can click this little icon right here and make the, uh, the keyboard go away. So I believe that that is all of the gestures that I found. Oh and then obviously for this application as well I could also bring up the context sensitive menu there. Okay. Um, so that's all of the gestures that I have found. Um, enjoy. If you find other please put comments on this YouTube video.